What's up everyone, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel, in today's video I will be talking about the next Remembrance battle. We're fighting against Bandit and it has a different gimmick this time. We need to poison the enemy in order to kill it slowly by poison damage. Because it has lots of HP and there is a special gimmick here as well. Every time you attack it triggers a heat up effect, that means that the more you attack this boss, the faster it will be for it to kill you. And this boss also summons minions to try to kill you as soon as possible. So although poison is the main strategy, there will be other ways with some weapon types. Like, you can still nuke this boss with some very specific situations, very specific teams, but it will be much, much easier to just go and poison the enemy. The problem is, do we have poison with all weapon types? We don't. But let's talk about the characters we have right now in the game that will give us access to poison. First word. Well, the platinum version of Johan gives you access to it by the skill called Shadowless Strike. So, if you want to easily clear the sword version of the Remembrance, you need to train this Johan. So, do it right now while you still have time. This Johan can also just use martial arts, but it's a limited style. And, well, we have other options with martial arts. Let's move on to Great Swords. And here it comes a problem. Because on JP, Saruin, as a style, has a skill that was changed on Global. And this skill here is now Confusion and AoE. On JP, it was single target that will get an Amplify to become Poison. So they may just make this Ultrasonic Wave skill uh, become Poison with an Amplify. Because there's no other way, or they will have to release a global access style that will give us access to poison. Uh, for our great swords, we do have uh, well, maybe Galahad, a character that will do some good damage and still sustain, but you come to a point where our boss will just have so much damage that it may not be so easy. So, moving on, the next styles about X. And this is another one that we don't have right now, but. We will find in the future on Torpe. This style here has an attack called Slash of Terror that will be amplified in the future and it will poison. The good thing is that Torpe is a limited style. Well, we also have access to Butcher. So, Butcher will have access to the same skill amplified with picked poison. So, if you want to uh, get your Butcher trained, to have an easy way in the future, do it while you can. The next one will be Bow. And Bow is another one that's a little hard right now, because the only character that can do it is Mew. Why? Because Mew has uh, poison skills with his tower style, this is a skill called Piercing Thorn. Well, most people have it by summoning with spiral tickets, and you can just and pass on this skill into his bow version. Let's just get the bow version here. This. Oops, wrong one. In this version, you just inherit the skill and you can use it easily. And in the near future, we'll be able to amplify skills that, well, can be also used it for the same purpose. And that will come in easy styles like Roberto. Roberto is easy and he's very, uh, very tanky. You get the poison skill from this style of him. Thousand Needles. This is his welfare style. You will amplify this. And another style that is also pretty easy to get is Liz as a style from Story. He also has access to Thousand Needles. So any of her premium styles will also be able to amplify and use it on fight. There are also other premium styles, but those are not important, like Sarah in Summer version of Claudia. Moving on, we have the weapon uh, martial arts, and this one is exactly plenty. We can talk about Leonid, that was the first one to ever have access to this, but the best version of Leonid is not really that good for this fight, because he has a chase attack, and multiple hits will just actually make the fight uh, longer, but in his S style, you have Poisonous Blow. 
and this can even be amplified into Poisonous Blow Plus. Besides him, you also have another character called Apollo. In his S style, Apollo has an AoE attack that can poison. So if you have one of his two premium styles, you'll be able to use Toxic Gas just fine. Or you just use the S style as well. But besides, like I said, Johan will also work. Then there is also another style that may actually be very good for this fight. That is Sylvan. That is also a Platinum style. Sylvan can uh, negate damage four times in a fight. So, it also poison with very cheap cost. Then there is Masked Azami. Well, I don't know if she's so popular, but, well... She's also capable of poisoning and can be a very good contender for the fight. She can poison with this skill that has 6 pp, it's actually pretty cheap. Uh, moving on for guns, we don't have poison, so we'll have to nuke. Um, there is future styles that we'll be able to poison, but they are just very, very far. Only in Halloween, probably. So. The thing here is, Liam will have to do the job, but again, he attacks with multiple hits, so we will try to buff and bring damage dealers together with Liam to try to nuke in the right situation. Besides Liam, there is also T260G that can just load um, for overdrive damage. That is the latest T260G. With Rev Max, you get uh, overdrive damage by a lot, you get the system overload. So, if you have it, train to 60 g as well. Now for clubs, we will have uh, Bokon. He is the only one right now in the game that can poison with his Christmas style. This attack with 5 EP cost will just easily poison the boss. Uh, in the future, we'll get a welfare style that can also poison, but he is the only premium style right now, and the welfare style is pretty far. You like we discussed it before, he has access to Piercing Thorn, so if you have his cross version, this is the best one to inherit too, because he has a Scrum Guard, that will decrease damage taken by 20% as long as everyone is alive. Then he also has Lady Step that will give you Guard Up, so you just use Poison in the right turn, the other turns you keep using Lady Step. Well, after Jamie, we have Diana. Diana has a Global X style, so she's gonna be a very good contender. But the Poison skill itself comes from two versions of her. The first, it's a limited S style with Piercing Torn, that's the best version. But her normal S style also has Epic Venom. So there are two free versions of Diana to use. One comes from Platinum, the other comes from Spiral Tower. Spiral Tower is better than the Platinum, but the best one is Global X, because she has a heal spell that also revives, and also Prayer for Peace, a spell that heals, uh, buffs endurance, and will and cleans status. Then after Diana, we have Dark. Dark has an S style from Tower inside the game that has access to Apid Venom. So Dark has two good styles to use Apid Venom. Well, this one uh, gets BP when he lands critical attacks, so with the critical weapon, it can actually help out with damage, but it's not required. But I think it would be better to just use the Global X style, because this one has high protect tension and a chance to evade. So, any of those will work. And then uh, we also have Mikael. Mikael has it on his A style, so it's pretty easy to find. But you should inherit Apid Venom into, well, his kid version seems okay, but it does have a chase attack, so it may not be optimal, but at least it itself heals pretty fine. And then this other version of him, call it Trusting My Back to You, has all charge. This is a skill that uses LP, but grants Morale down medium to enemies, so it will decrease damage taken in that turn, and also gives Morale up very large, so that you if you want to kill the boss because it's just getting close to death. And there's also the Global Axis style, but this one may not be perfect since it's a little fragile, but it does have at least some region with recurring region passive. 
Well, in four spears, there's only one character right now that can inflict poison. And, well, he was in a banner that I don't think it was so popular. Ondo can do it with Mizuki. But since it's a spear challenge, you can still do something, well, just bring Matchwork, but you will have to rely on PNF Victory. Because, well, PNF Victory buffs STR and Agility Intelligence. STR will help spear damage dealers. So you're going to bring people that have one hit nukes with very big damage. Matchwork herself has it with her latest style, but also people like Nadart, for example. He also helps the party by giving uh, defense up for the whole fight, and he has access to Swooping Dragon Plus. Also self-recovers. That's the same thing as, well, uh, the other character that is related to Minerva that I always forget the name. This one is Victoria, and characters with similar damage output. So, in this case, you have to buff lots of time before you even try to nuke, and Matchwork also has access to heal, so that will help the fight. As far as staves, we have Scorn. He is a platinum style that can debuff will and also has uh, all skills based on poison. Pretty easy to acquire, and will work just fine. Then we also have Evelyn. She has her first limited style that carries Poison Bog. So another AoE version. Then we have the latest version of Orluge from those that summon on that banner. That newest Orluge is very good because he has access to many different ailments and can also be very sustainable. So, the last skill is pretty costly with 10 BP, but he can just inflict poison easily as well. Then we have Rouge. Rouge has many good styles, even his global access style will be very useful for this fight. And from his A style, you find Poisonous Blow. So, inherit that to make it even faster and better on global axe Rouge. You even have a chance of just giving BP to the party. Then there is also Ray. In her first limited style, you have a skill that has poison. As you can see it here. Call it Jackal. So this one will also work, but it's pretty old if you have the newest versions of Ray. Just inherit because she can revive when she gets killed. And another style is Death. Well, from Death you just need the S style. So inherit in the best version of death that you may have, because it's poison bog as well. I believe the best one right now should be this. So if you have it, it will be very easy. Or just bring the second version of death that also buffs intelligence and will. It's a better damage dealer for long run. Well, I guess this covers all the characters that will be useful for the meanwhile. Check which one of those you have and start training them to get ready for the fight. And when the event releases, I will be just showcasing my strategies and trying to overcome situations where we don't have poison. With all that said, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this can help you in preparing for the new event. And I see you soon in the next video. Bye.